In this lesson, we're going to create some patches using the freeform modeling tools. All right, so let's say that we want to create some patches along um, the cloth here. And what I want to do is I want to be able to draw right on the surface. So that way I don't have to worry about um, making a plane and then getting it into position and then moving the vertices to match the uh, points on the surface. That would take a little bit of time. So to quickly um, tackle this issue, what we can do is we can select the uh, main part of our object here and let's go into freeform. Now under freeform we're going to have our poly draw tools and you'll see that we have lots and lots of tools in here. We've already used extend and that's become very very helpful in our workflow. Uh, we've talked about what this draw on feature does. Uh, right now it's set to draw on grid but now we want it to draw on a surface. So let's go ahead and hit draw on surface and the draw on surface is if we want to create a new object and draw on an existing surface. Okay, So in this case would be uh, the selection that we have or we could just draw on this current selection that we have. So in this case let's use selection and then we'll go back into poly draw and we could use any number of these tools. So we can use topology, we could create shapes, uh, strips, uh, we can create another surface, even branches and splines. So what I want to do is I want to show you how to use this topology feature as it can be really really neat. So the way this works is uh, we'll left click and then we can come in and start drawing on our surface but before we do that let's do a little bit of setup. Let's left click right here and it's going to say auto weld. Now what auto weld is going to do is it's going to create this object and make it part of the object but there'll be two different elements. I want it to be a brand new object, so I'm going to turn it off. Okay, so I'm going to click on my topology. You'll see that it's highlighted in blue, and now I have this cursor to where I can come right in here and I can start to draw right on my surface. So if I left click and drag, you'll see this line comes up. Okay, and then um, I can come over here and I can draw right on this surface. Okay, and then I can come across start intersecting these lines. Now watch what happens here. Um, if I left click and start to drag and anywhere that we create a quad it will create a poly on there. So I can left click and drag across here and across to here and then finally one more ending there. Now you need to make sure that they cross over one another. Now I also want to um, create some flexibility so it will follow along in this direction. So I'm going to left click and drag across here and it's going to start to create a smoother patch. Okay, now it looks like we missed one. We didn't get all the way out to the edge. So let's hit Control Z one time, and then we'll left click and drag again, and there we have that new set of topology. Now, when we're finished, we can right click, and then now we're left with this geometry, which is polygon geometries. Notice it's set to edible poly. Now, this object is a topo surface object. So you can rename it. We could say something like patch, hit OK, or enter, and you could even change its color. Just like we normally would, we can apply a material to our object. And let me put this right over here again. Let's close that down. And then from here, I can go to my local view, grab my move tool. Let's center to object. So let's affect pivot only, center to object. And let's pull that out away from our object. So it's right on the surface. So I want to give it a little bit of thickness so I'm going to pull it away from my surface and then I'm going to go to my modify panel border mode, select the border on the outside and then hold shift and drag back in the Y. Okay so we've created a little bit of thickness. I want that to penetrate into um, our object and once that has uh, been finished there we can come in and we can smooth it out. Now we could smooth it out a couple of different ways. We could um, uh, take that border and we could scale it in all three directions to kind of soften that edge. Or uh, we can go into polygon mode, select that top set of polygons, and use um, bevel. Or we can chamfer these edges. So with these polygons selected, we can hold down shift and go to edge mode. And that's just going to select the edges on the outside of our selection and then I can use chamfer 
to soften that. So pull that up a little bit. That's a pretty good value. It should give us a nice soft look to it. So I don't want it to just stick there. I want to create some geometry that looks like maybe a couple of stitches that have applied that um, or something like that. So um, with this object selected, let's go ahead and smooth it out its smoothing groups. So let's scroll down. Let's go to smoothing group one. And then uh, with this geometry here, I'm going to create uh, some new polygons. So select your object, go to poly draw, and this time we're going to use strips. So with strips, the way this works is you just left click and drag and it creates strips of polygons. And as long as you hold that down, you can create any shape of strips that you want. Now these are very, very small and I don't, real, don't really like the spacing on that as that can be very difficult to work with. So I'm going to hit control Z one time. I can control the overall size of my strips by adjusting this minimum distance. So if I adjust this to say, let's go to 40 and hit enter. If I left click and drag now, you'll notice my polygons are much larger and much easier to deal with. So let's go back to poly draw. We have our strips and it's going to make this part of the object. Okay, so that's okay. I'm just gonna left click and drag um, across here. And we'll do something like three polygons like that. And I'm gonna draw across here. And then we'll do one right here. And then we'll do one right across the top like that. Okay, so kind of looks like um, stripping there. Now I don't like that last one. Let's let's do one more like so. Okay, so you should look something kind of like that. Now let's go to element mode. And let's select those elements. Now it can be a little difficult uh, to select so you may need to come back, try it a couple times, try to select right on the object. Or you can just hold down control and do a marquee selection and then deselect the backpack there. There we go, so that looks good. And I'm going to pull that forward in my Y direction and then I want to give this some thickness. So we can do just like we did before, let's go to border mode and I'm going to select the borders around that object. That should be all of those. And let's hold down shift and we'll drag that out and give that some thickness. And let's push that back into uh, the backpack there. So we're looking good. Now what we can do is we can soften up those edges. We can double click on those individual edges and chamfer those um, if we wanted to. Or uh, we can come in and we can just do a bevel okay, across that. Um, either way will be just fine. So with those polygons selected, I'm going to do an inset. And then I'm going to pull that out some, just like so. And I'm pretty happy with the way that looks. I could take those individual pieces, make those a little bit smaller. Now instead of scaling uh, these with view and scaling them all together, let's scale them in their local direction. And each one will scale individually. So make those a little bit smaller and a little more believable. So something like that. Okay, so we've created something that looks kind of like a patch using those freeform modeling tools. Now, I would suggest that you come in and um, take a look at all of these and see exactly how they work. Um, you might find something that um, works really well for you. Um, each one of these um, you can kind of hover over and get a little bit more of an explanation of what each one will do. Uh, but these are some really, really great, uh, great tools and I really like them a lot. Alright, so we have one final thing uh, that we want to do and I want to show you how we can um, continue to draw on the surface but we're going to uh, do this with creating primitives and we're going to create one final detail which is going to be the buttons here. Alright, so we'll do that next.